Hi, my name is Ricky Liang. I'm doing Master of Early Childhood Teaching. I'm very grateful for this placement give me the opportunity to truly know the Australia education system and what are its features. I come from a very traditional Chinese education system, which is strict and includes a teacher-centered teaching strategy. Examination also are the only criteria for assess students' learning outcome. However, in Australia system, educators pay more attention to students' own thinking and exploration process. In the first few days of my placement, I found it difficult to get students really involved in my teaching activities. Therefore, my personal teaching goal during these 35 days is to help children become independent and confidence learners through inquiry learning approach. In this video, I'm going to explain how I help students improve their learning by understanding and using this approach, and how do I address three graduate teacher standards through inquiry-based learning approach. First of all, I will introduce the teacher standard 1.1, you know students and how they learn. Park and Thomas point out that inquiry learning is a student-centered teaching and learning strategy that emphasizes the voice of the student and how to build a solid knowledge system based on students' previous knowledge. Educators need to understand physical, social, and intellectual development and characteristics of students. There are 19 students in our class, 3 from Aboriginal background, 7 from non-English speaking background, one with ASD and another one with selective mutism. Through communication with my surviving teacher, I have known that some students do not speak English at home, and some children are unable to express their feeling and idea clearly and accurately due to the mental illness and learning disability. After understanding about the student's learning requirement, I support students to improve their language through everyday bookmaking activity. In this, activ in this activity, we give students enough space to think what kind of book they want to do. They can make their own decision. I also invite students to share and read their book after the bookmaking. In these student center activities, the educator could understand the previous student's knowledge and experience by analyzing the text written by the student and adjust the following teaching strategy according to the feedback from the students. Secondly, the core of the inquiry-based learning is to assimilate students' learning motivation and interest. According to Park and Thomas' research, inquiry-based learning can motivate learners to learn more. Teaching in inquiry-based classroom is active and attractive, which can help children develop new skills and understand new concepts. In focus area 2.1, Educators are required to apply knowledge of the content and the teaching strategy of the teaching area to develop engaging teaching activities. In math lesson, based on the understanding of the knowledge content of the capacity, I provide a lot of hands-on activity to help students understand abstract math topic. For example, I show students three different containers um, glass breaker, uh, drink bottle, and uh, two later milk bottles, and ask them to predict how many cups of the water will fill each container. After that, students could check their answers through this real uh, experiment. By playing, children learn what is the capacity and how to measure and compare the capacity of the different object. Teacher standard 3.3 require educators to use the relevant teaching strategy to develop knowledge, skill, problem solving, and critical and creative thinking. In inquiry-based classes, students can learn abstract and complex mathematical concepts through open-end question 
learning strategy and a try and error. Campbell and Chillock highlight that problem-based learning is a key role, play a key role in exploration of the mathematics. During the question process, students are encouraged to participate in group discussion and to identify and challenge each other's idea. When I was preparing a fraction lesson plan, the question I prepared to ask a student was, if you want to share an apple with your friend, how can you divide it in two equal parts? I was um, discussing this lesson plan with my supervising teacher. She di didn't give me the feedback directly, but she gave me one student and let me do the test. After the activity, I realized the question is too direct and very limited. A student do not have any opportunity to think and explore from this problem, such, such as how to, uh, how to divide, what is a half, and why do we do this and in this way. The purpose of the learning fraction is to solve the problem in the real life. So I revised the question and I have students set up the real life the scenario and encourage them to find a solution without the instruction. And such as and Joe and Joe wants to share his apple with Sam. How can he do this in a fair way? And after activity, I also invite students to share their answer. I ask the following question. How did you do it? Where did you cut it and why? The students work that and work sample of these two questions. And there are best evidence to approve that when I use the inquiry based and open end question strategy correctly. It helps students understand and learn more. Finally, the professional development of the educator is a lifelong goal, and I still need to keep learning in the future. Thank you for your listening.